Hey everyone, little update uh, from me. Jan Fredino, he's decided to stop. The exceptional skills of Jan Fredino will not be on display. The disappointing news that Jan Fredino is out of the upcoming Ironman World Championship. Yesterday, the news that Jan Fredino is out of Kona this year. Chance to recess, restart, and plan for what will be, I think, my four, final 14 months in the sport. I'm still burning. I'm still passionate. I truly love the game. But right now, it's time to reset, push, pause, and start again. Christian, I just come from a swim and it's occurred to me that I'm putting in all this hard work and all this practice in the hope of seeing you at the PTO European Open. But it's just struck me that for the first time in like 20 years, I need a wild card. I know not everyone loves wild cards, could be controversial, maybe they should all go off the rankings, but what they do bring is an, an added piece of jeopardy. And what will particularly happen in a race like this is where an athlete has been injured for a long time and he slipped outside the top 30. And we want to see them racing against the best in the world. I'm thinking of Jan Fredino in particular. Relax, Jan. I think I know someone who knows someone who knows someone, so. So, see you in Ibiza. <laughs> oh man, it's on. Actually, gets me goosebumps. How has it been in Ibiza? Woo! Jesus, different crowd, isn't it? <laughs> Here in the Mediterranean, the race to be crowned the king of the PTO European Open is nothing short of box office. Yeah, it's pretty good to finally be in Ibiza and having a race week. It's been a long time since the last year. A new place, new location, and it's a race we all want to win. So, yeah, excited to be back racing. Oh, that looked cool. <laughs> it's obviously been a while between drinks for me, and I'm very, very excited to be here. So far, everything's gone really smooth. I've only got another 48 hours to bridge until I make it to a start line, which has been a long time. And uh, of course, you know, that kind of field, this kind of race, the kind of hype. Uh, it's beautiful. It's what I live for. This is the shot that people want. How good for triathlon? to have the best against the best on the start line on Saturday? I've, at least for me, it's, this is like a race I've been looking forward for, yeah, maybe like 10 years. For me as an older guy, like I look at the sport and I'm already, you know, I'm already, I have a bit of distance because I'm not really, it's, it's a different generation and I look at it and I look at all these guys talking a big game and there's a lot of people talking a bit, big game but there's not many people delivering big. Talking a big game? Yeah, I think uh, we all do, and we've all been performing on the biggest stage. So, uh, yeah, some of us will probably fail on Saturday. I've been thinking about waiting for you on the run, actually. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling optimistic. Enjoy coming into race as the rank number one, because that's how I normally go into race, looking at myself. And to actually have that number as well is, uh, I feel it's where I want to be and where I feel I should be. We've got some of the greatest ever triathletes we've ever seen competing against each other. These guys are starting to transcend, just swim, bike and run. The question is, can Jan Fredino still hold his own against Christian Blumenfeld? Hold your breath. The beat is about to drop on triathlons 
Ibiza Party. We are racing. The swim is key for Christian Blumenfeld. He comes into this race backing his run. He knows he's probably the fastest runner in the field. So out in front, that is Jan Fredino. We did just see the orange hat of Christian Blumenfeld there, so he is not currently near the front. They're coming out the water and we will see them dash into T1. And I think this versus Christian Blumenfeld versus Alistair Brownlee, this has got him back and hopefully got him back in really good shape. Can Frodeno just struggling there with that jump onto his bike. He's uh, not happy with himself. Blumenfeld there, minute down, so that's a bit of time to make up. We're on Max Newman there, and he's put himself in a great position. Blumenfeld's ride flawless so far. Christian Blumenfeld is at 30 seconds back, but in position the group with Jan Fredino. Yeah. And Fredeno and Blumenfeld running out together, Perfect. side by side out of Love G2. It. Exactly what we wanted. We're going to have all three Olympic champions sharing that frame. There's Christian Blumenfeld coming round. So he's managed to drop Jan Fredino. Christian's opened up a big gap. Christian Blumenfeld moving really well. He's still one minute, to 18 seconds down on Alistair Brownlee. It is getting hotter here in Ibiza. Up to fourth now, Christian Blumenfeld. Max Newman's just put, really just picked up the pace. Jan Fredino is looking good at this stage. Yes, Blumenfeld going full send now. He's just picking everyone off, isn't he? Fredino there in fifth, so he's been in the mix for most of the race. Christian Blumenfeld has pulled 14 seconds out of Max Newman on the run. Oh, it's going to be close. And just looking at the time checks there, Jan Fredeno's moved into fourth position. Brownlee's just slipped back one more position. The speed Christian Blumenfeld is moving. Yeah, I don't want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't make me call it. Christian Blumenfeld turns the corner. He's beating Jan Fredino. It's a fantastic race from him. Didn't quite have enough turf to make up the time. It's Fredino over the line. Fourth Great position. to have him back racing. Fourth position for him after 616 days away. And take it in, folks, when you see Jan Fredino, because he's not going to be around for very much longer. And we hope to see him a few more times, of course, in 2023. You've done two of the PTO Tour races now. We take the Collins Cup outside. Two second place finishes. It hurts, it hurts. You know, and one that like you. Stuff and, uh... Well, I think what annoys me with Ibiza when finishing second uh, is that it's just that close up to the win. I could see Max and sort of almost getting there and uh, see someone else taking that finish tape just in front of your eyes is. Yeah, it's annoying to have lost. Ibiza for me was was tricky. Coming in, I, I knew I'd had you know five weeks coming in, being injury free. It was somewhat eye opening to see that the depth of the field is that much better, and it's been good since then and made good progress. And you know, looking forward to being more of the athlete that I'm known for. It hasn't been the greatest start of the season. Second place in Ibiza and then two <laughs> so so races in the short distance. So uh, I'm feeling like even more hungry now to bounce back. Training has been very consistent. I've been able to finally get to that stage of how I would like to see myself finish my season. It makes me go into a race with a lot more fire in my belly and a lot more aggression and a lot more looking forward to going out and crushing things. Overall, I should be <laughs> better prepared, have spent more time on the TT bike and done all of those things better.
this time I'm actually ready to put on the boxing gloves and, and, and give him a run for his money. Every chance you have to raise Jan, like, it brings more like prestige to the race. But I think I'm better prepared in terms of the leg speed now. Like, man, I, I totally respect what you've done and everything, but every single time you say, oh, I'm going to win, I'm going to smash you, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Well, we're waiting and uh, we've waited for a while now. So uh, I'm going to keep you waiting a little bit longer. Challenge accepted. I guess you better wait two more days and then we will be there. You show me this road I Incredible efforts out there by Christian Blumenfeld. Take me down this winding trail. You give me these words Russia to Russia Blumenfeld swallow. didn't quite have enough turf. From your torrential clouds they're raining. We are racing 100 kilometers of swim bike run here in Milwaukee. Christian Blumenfeld and Magnus Ditliff are in good positions, better than what we would have expected. Jan is behind for Christian Blumenfeld. They're going to have to really sprint to catch on to that front group. There might be a little bit of a pack forming right now. So the surprise really is Christian Blumenfeld. Didn't expect him to be this far up the front. So again, a phenomenal swim from Christian. Jan is the last on this pack here. These few moments here are going to be critical for Jan. It's a perfect position for Christian Blumenfeld because he'll sit in and conserve his, his legs. He still has the fire. You're seeing that right now. He's pushing. He's third right now and amongst the best in the world. Still holding out top is Christian Blumenfeld. And I know it's early, but he's looking good for it. The pace is on and he means business. This is massive. You can't underestimate how big this is. Jan is dropping back. It's not a good sign. Magnus, Christian and Matthias out the front of the race. Jan's dropped off. Jan, Jan's not going to get back there, I don't think. To me, this is the podium. We're seeing Christian talk the talk before the race. He's now walking the walk. And that's Jan Fredino actually still hanging on to Magnus. The GOAT. Don't count him out just yet. The question is, how hard has Jan had to work and how is he feeling right now? Oh, oh no. Christian's oh. cramped! Not oh, again! No way. Canada all over again. This happened to Christian, the exact same quad. I sort of thought Christian had this race in the, in the bag. bag. I sort of thought there's no way he hasn't won this. Suddenly this race is Jan's to lose. Struggling with that left shoe because it's on that left leg. I sort of expected Jan to look a little heavier and, and maybe a little, a little bit more proppy through T2 there. He looks great. Christian, still to me, doesn't look that good. If Jan's moving to the front of a race like this, it means he's feeling good and it means he's fit. This is the race for Jan to go, I haven't beaten Christian, I'm going to do it today. We're seeing Christian Blumenfeld running up onto the heels of Magnus Didlift. This is massive here. Christian Blumenfeld has come back. Oh, here we cramp. go again. Oh. Another cramp. No, oh, no, no just it. as he was yep. about to make his move. <laughs> oh, so this is brutal. That so little surge he tried he to make is literally what's hurt him here. Yeah, he, it's almost like he has to just baby it or, 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 or keep the pace lower. This is oh, this heartbreaking. Is, long, is this not a long time? Very long in, time, yeah. Like I mean, Right here? Yeah. This just wasn't in anywhere in his thoughts. He yeah, he was so confident. Jan here looks so good. I've heard stories like I've said about how well he's been running and we're seeing it here. Christian Blumenfeld, uh, he's down in fourth position, around two minutes down um, after a couple of cramps. Devastating for Christian Blumenfeld. Jason West is definitely running fastest on course. There's every chance he catches Christian here. He Could you imagine so if he wins? I th oh, oh, John, I think, don't imagine, I think we're seeing it happening in front of our eyes. Oh, look at Christian, he's such a, he's such a competitor. <laughs> he's, just, he's just trying to go with Jason West right there. How can someone look that good at this stage in this race? He's got a minute lead, he's got one lap to go. This just shows how tough Christian Blumenfeld is. He was walking Very a couple of point. laps ago, but now he's back and he's battling for a second place finish. Jan Fredino now looks like he had the, the race won and Christian and Jason, they're catching him and they're catching him fast. 
Yarn's now in, he's entering this state of like euphoria of like, look at me, I'm the greatest of all time. What a performance. What a moment. What a man. The greatest of all time. Jan Fredino wins the US Open. Congratulations, that man. This is insane what he's just done today. Christian Blumenfeld, despite the pain and the agony, has come over the finish line. He finishes in third, and you can see how much it hurts. Oh, and you can see how much it hurt Christian too. Jan is on like cloud nine here, and Christian just looked defeated, like, oh, I've lost a PTO race again. For Jan to have a PTO Open win on his resume, it's everything for when we reflect on his career in five years' time and talk about him as the greatest of all time. In first place, and the winner of the gold medal in the 2023 PTO US Open representing Germany, Jan Fredino. It's been an emotional few weeks and uh, I was thinking back a year ago today, I was, I was in hospital, you know, I was, uh, had my first surgery and to come back here, race the best of the best, is just a privilege. When Christian punched me on the first bind and bo on the first boy and I was like, dude, dude, you can have the guard, we can have the changing of the guard, but the throne will stay with me. Losing the battle to Jan is sort of, uh, uh, yeah, it stings. Yeah, it does. I'm sure PTO Open will be in your future, Christian. Hopefully in two weeks, hopefully in two weeks in Singapore. You have to admit, it is a fairly stunning setting in which to hold the final PTO race of the season. And for the athletes, it's a last chance to wear the crown of Open Champion. Christian Blumenfeld, the big favourite again for a PTO race, despite the fact he hasn't quite won one yet. Jan Fredino wins the US he Open. finishes in Christian third. Blumenfeld didn't quite have enough to can see how much it hurts. Three races across two continents over 10 days. He's gone Milwaukee, Paris, and arrived into Singapore late last night. But he's told us he is fit and firing and ready to go today. We are racing in Singapore. Christian Blumenfeld is sitting in seventh in the orange cap, so that's a good position for him to be in. We're very used to seeing Christian Blumenfeld at the very top, but so far that isn't the case. A long way to go yet. This is the biggest lead group that we've seen out of the water on the PTO Tour. We see the men go through transition now. Christian's right in the thick of it. But there's so many unknowns around Christian's race today. He's done the Olympic test event in Paris two days ago, flown across continents to get here and race. Christian, he's all business at the moment. He's in a great position, 28 seconds back. He is arguably the best triathlete in the world and has been for three years. He hasn't ridden his TT bike for two weeks since the PTO US Open, he went straight back on his road bike. All the ingredients for, you know, that cramp to show itself again seems to be there. So really interesting to see whether it sort of plays out that way or whether he's fine. This is what you dream of as an athlete, having one of these days. And we didn't expect to see Peter off the front like this. At this point, I don't think it's a race winning lead for Peter Hemrick by any stretch. Not with Christian Blumenfeld breathing down your neck. 
Peter Hemrick still looks amazing, though. He looks fast. He looks fluent. Don't think just because Peter Hemrick was two minutes in front that this race is done. Christian's got the mindset of the hunter right now. He has that carrot out in front of him, and he's chasing it. Christian is really eating into this lead. Christian Blumenfeld is only 40 seconds behind now. He is closing that gap quite quickly now. That catch between Christian Blumenfeld and Peter Hemrick is about to happen. Is he going to finally get that PTO win he's craving? There it is. We have a new leader here in Singapore. Christian Blumenfeld's out front. He's some athlete, this boy. I mean, this is great to watch. I've picked him for a lot of the races that he's done, and I think I'm, I'm not on my own. I didn't think he could get it done today. I just wasn't sure. I thought he'd be on the podium, but this is, this is incredible. He sees the blue now, and he's coming down towards the finish line. His resume is quite something, and it's about to get even deeper. Christian Blumenfeld is the PTO Tour Asian Champion 2023. He's done it. Drink it up, Christian Blumenfeld. You deserve it all. That is a remarkable achievement. It's been a race I wanted to win since 2020, like Daytona, and uh, I've been chasing this one, and uh, especially after the two races I've done already, already this year with Abifa and US Open, I felt, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a massive relief. Somewhere, I'm sure, Jan Frodeno is watching this with a cold beer just winking at the telly. If you had the chance to say something to him now, would you say, come on, Jan, one more dance, 2024. Take one more year. Like